Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and welcome back to Transport Fever European Free Play Edition. And in this episode, we would like to finish up the Willenhall Beckles and Worksop line out here to Dursley. And I've had a few ideas of what I want to do with that. Obviously, bring in the line in like this. We connected up Willenhall in the last episode, Beckles before that. And uh, so now it's time for Dursley. Now, of course, Dursley will probably be a central hub. I considered a number of things. The first was, of course, putting a station here. But the problem was kind of, well, not really squeezing past that. I could just bridge over that. Uh, but getting past the harbor area here. And I spent a bit of time off screen placing a rail station here just so that... Yeah, it's a freight station. It would be in, within range of that. It should be within range of that. All the way up to about there. So that is fine. I had to rework the road. And the problem with trying to bring the passenger line in through here to put into a station is just swinging around. This is at a height which I can bridge over. I can bridge over. I can bridge over that. Um, if I were to bring the passenger in through here as a bypass, what would I have to do? I'd have to bridge over this, and then I'd have to swing it around, and then I'd have to bridge most likely this over this in order to get into there. So that this can go off in that direction. Alternatively, I could bring this down, but I'd have to bridge it over this. <laughs> so I can get the road through and then bridge this over this. But then I'd have to go up and then down and the station there. So my alternative idea was to put a station right around here. And we have... Take a look, stops. We only have something like that. Yeah. Um, Cause if I was going to have, see a line running this way, I can have it basically come in like this. We can have a line going from Kempston Pocklington. Uh, I'm not sure about Tavistock to Dursley. Probably Tavistock, Kempston, Pocklington, so there'd be a transfer point here. So we don't necessarily need a direct Tavistock to Dursley line. And then we'd have a line running out to Doncaster, most likely. Maybe an express line going out this way. So that is a possibility. And so I'd have basically one terminating here. We'd have one coming in from Doncaster and one coming from Kempston. So three platform station. Now, when I take a look at the terrain, we're going to have some interesting things happen here. So what I'm going to do, we are going to tear that out. Tear that out. And for now, I am going to run this like that. We are going to flatten this out. And we are going to want a three station pass through passenger station. We can go with that. We can go with that. One of those. Oh, we'll just go with that. Three tracks. Are we going to want any? No. We don't need any curvature. All right, so most likely uh, the Dursley to Willenhall line will be on the outskirts. Now, am I going to want 
a second street connection. Possibly not, although you never know. Do I want Dursley to extend it this way? Not particularly. So we'll leave that as a no. 320, no curvature, three tracks. And we have an unable to align terrain. So I am going to use the road. I wish it would just let you build it. So it's most likely coming from the... Uh, yep, we're going to throw that right about... Uh, yep. Right there. Alright, so we are going to want to have this... All right, so we're going to have, actually, it doesn't really matter. And obviously not a tunnel. We're just gonna tear that out. at a minimum 120 and we are going to keep it on the flat now the question is we are going to want this to probably be a little bit tighter I am going to want Let's go 90 and then we will if I can let's try to keep 120 for the curve over all right we're gonna keep the uh, night climber on our bridge yep oh wait a minute oh wait a minute is that Okay, never mind. Uh, let's go to about there. We are going to want to embankment. And then to about there. And then we're just going to want to go to ground. An embankment. Let's come in from this 
end and we're on the inside of the curve, right? Yep. And we just want to embankment. All right. Yep, we'll just do that. If we want to maintain on the flat, that's a 105. That's a 104. Although, why did that drop? That should have been on the flat. It's not on the flat. Yeah, that's right. It takes time for it to go onto the flat. And now it's up high. up happening is because that was going downhill it keeps going downhill until it yeah, until it flattens out which is not what we want we want to keep this All right, so that is about a 106. That is fine. Now we can connect that up. And there we go. That's how you keep that straight. So we are going to have that come in. Now we are going to double track of that. Double track that. We have $108 million in the bank. And one thing I'd like to do is take a look at the finances because I don't think I've shown this on screen necessarily, but yeah, we reached $106 million in 1918, $95.7 million in 1917. I think the last time I showed the financials on screen was either in 1914 or 1915. Of course, with that said, we haven't had to take a loan in a while, and we certainly don't need to take a loan for some time. We're up to $1.31 million of tram income last year. So $107 million. It is July 13th. Uh, we are potentially looking to exceed last year's income. $36 million in road. $55.9 million in rail. $14.3 million in water. That's dropped a bit. Uh, we have running costs of $13.6 million on road. We're almost at a three to one ratio there. Rail, we're only making a $25 million profit-ish, which is less than the two to one. Tram, we're just barely making a profit there, but that's not surprising, of course, with that said. The trams that we do have, they are profitable, which is compared to what we've had before. I have to say this four times slower mod is awesome uh, for that purpose. We have 14.3 versus 8.7 million in running cost. All right. Now, if we take a look at signals, we do not have any signals here. We do have a crossover, so we are going to Throw signals there. I am going to put a signal there. We are going to do signal there. 
I'll be back in just a moment. All right, so we have signals there. And I'm actually going to turn that one into a one-way signal. We have these signals. We're going to force it to one way. And that is just to prevent trains from doing weird things. Although with that said, in the current patch, train behavior has been much more improved. All right, so that. So we have that connecting into Dursley. We will obviously want to extend this. And I'll do that right now. And this is mainly to, of course, prevent. Okay. Yep, we're going to run this like this. And I'm actually going to Is that going to be fine? Uh, it should be fine. Although, with that said, what I'll probably do is pull that back. And. Now, what I would like to do, this is going to extend onwards to Doncaster. We are going to. Keep this on the flat and we are going to try to maintain a 120 we are going to embankment it let's see tightest corner for 120 although with that said yeah we're getting very close to high-speed rail so we'll be changing it eventually um, what I might just do raise it up or not. Let's raise it up just a bit. All right, so that'll be extending out that way. And we are doing this mainly to prevent the town from extending out this way because odds are it probably would and in that case that would be all bad for us and we're gonna have the train coming in here yeah you're going to place that and then going out that way same thing over here. Although I do not necessarily need these signals since they won't be through signals. You only really need the signals as exit signals for trains that are not stopping and they are, they don't count it as a block separate from the rest of the system. Let's just bring that down. And flatten that out. smooth this out I'll probably spend some time smoothing out a whole lot of stuff I have the money I can do it now <laughs> all right that should be good enough yeah a little bit more all right we have 106 million dollars we have that connection let's let time tick now, taking the workshop to Wilm Hall, we have 
three trains running eight capacity each. You are coming here to Willen Hall. You are going to Beckles from Worksop and you are heading up to Worksop. So one there, one there, and one over here. All right, I'm going to want to Yep, we'll add that and then come back here to Willenhall. Now, yep, those 36 people that were going to Beckles, they're going to get on the train coming here to Dursley rather than, yep, switching over to the Beckles stop. That's something I would like them to change for them to actually switch over to the Beckles side. But uh, they don't. All right, we are going to want another train. And this is going to be on the... We're going to go with the class 53 Prussian. We are going to go with a Bavarian car. And we want the workshop to Willenhall line, although we are going to have to change that. It is now workshop to... Dursley. And that is going that route. So yeah, these passengers, if they wanted to, they could hop over, jump aboard, but no, they're going to have to wait for the train to show up. Now, over here, uh, we got some plastics, we got some crude oil. Here's a question, did I? Yes, I did. Stonehouse oil, yep. So we got some steel and slag. One thing I would like to do, I was thinking about this when I was doing the editing of the previous episodes, is we have basically stone and slag, well stone here, slag coming over here, bring it this way to the construction materials plant, and then we could bring um, iron ore from here back this way. We could also bring other resources that are over here. So that's one possibility. We could extend it further, maybe pick up stone here. We could even do a lengthier line out here to the construction materials plant. We could then run the other gondola line that I was planning to run. And I'd probably do it as two separate gondola lines. But that might be a plan for a future episode. Although what I would like to do... Uh, we are just going to... I'm going to do four platforms. We are going to do two curvature. If I want this to come in here, I'm going to have to change that. I'm going to have to change. to cause some issues. All right, I am going to remove that. We are going to remove that. We are going to Place down the station, although this is going to take... Nope, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the freight station. And I'm just going to throw it here. That will take that, so that will route as desired. 
And now we are going to place this. And I'm actually just going to free place it. An alternative is I could throw it here. Although the only downside is I would not be able to reach the harbor. So I would need a harbor transfer. No, we are going to throw it right around here. So we are going to bring this around like this. And I will set that up eventually. Which of course begs the question, is this going to be my freight harbor here? Is this basically going to be useless? Am I going to just bring freight in here or am I just going to bring it all into here? So that is the question. Another option I could have done, eh, not really. Put a through station here, but no. And I'm just going to... Once we get the updated roads, I will probably be going and overhauling in a whole lot of places. I will probably get my additional truck stations that I have mod-wise. At least I'm assuming I have them enabled. Hopefully they show up in uh, whatever year it's going to be. Alright, although that's a little weird. We're gonna just tear that out so that looks a little bit more natural. And I'm actually going to throw this over here. Question is. Yep, yeah, too much slope. I could do that. All right, let's let that run. And so, yeah, I'm going to do something with that later, possibly off screen. So we have that line is connected there. This actually, no, it actually just, let's see if we can get that connected. Oh, nice. There we go. Not that we actually needed it to be connected. And that is still connected. All right. So we can get stone onto there. Although with that said, uh, there is construction materials plant here, but uh, I probably use the stone that is say over here. I probably wouldn't bring stone this way. Although with that said, I wouldn't be surprised if stone actually does make its way over here. Cause we do have this over to this. So if I were to connect this up to this without preventing stone from going there to there, stone will get loaded up onto there, which actually might not be such a bad idea just because we do have stone closer to home. So we could connect that up like that, this up to that. That is a possibility. That is something we can of course do. There's many possibilities on this map for different connections. And we have seen different industries kind of fighting over or supplying the demand of one industry or rather two farms supplying two different food processing plants or the same two food processing plants and somehow working out 
Anyway, at this point in time, what I'm going to do is probably take a break here. We didn't let too much time tick by, although with that said, um, yeah, I do kind of want to keep the episode to a length. So once it hits about 30 minutes, I'm looking, oh nice, to end the episode. Um, Raise production to avoid downgrade. It doesn't really matter. You've ramped up completely. Construction materials plant, 720. It's at a 1600. Nice. Only 716. And it's apparently going to... Never mind. It's not going to upgrade. Now it has 1025 demand. Is it... It's been getting a regular supply of... Yep. All right. And yeah, that now has to go in a little bit more of a curvy run just because reasons. All right. Things are doing quite well. And yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we do need uh, yeah to get more of this fuel out and why that is going to possibly downgrade anything else to take a look at before we wrap things up there may be a bit of a break in between episodes i don't know when i'm going to get back to recording but i will have to take a brief break and it may be an indeterminate amount of time but overall things have been Working out quite well for us. It is 1920. We're not yet into the age of high-speed rail. Of course, with that said, the best train that we have so far is only 100 kilometers an hour. Uh, let's just take one final check. It would also help if we actually connected up uh, more. Yeah, we're not quite done. All right, yep, we are going to want to... Uh, we are going to put a... Passenger station here. And we are going to... We're using trams. What are my tram lines looking like? that coming into there that going to there we have that and that and we have four lines running into there one thing i might just do is connect uh, going to electrify that we're going to keep it at a, a reasonable slope although actually let's bring in this that uh, I would like to have a tram line this way for now what I'm probably going to do I don't know what I'm going to do I almost kind of want to tear that out if we can bring this and 
and something like that. We are going to upgrade this road and we are going to place a few bus stops. Now one option, actually, we don't necessarily need to do anything. Uh, we're going to throw this here. We are going to do stops there. We are going to do a stop there. There. As well as there. And now what we would like to do is take the tram RT4, which we only have one on. We are going to extend this. So instead of here at the Dursley we are going to go so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we are just going to connect that up And this is already being served, so people can come in here, jump aboard this one to get over to the train station. They can jump aboard this line, transferring at the station here to get to the train station. So that'll work. I'll probably bring buses into this train station, possibly coming out from Kempston. Uh, maybe one running up to Doncaster. But I am going to have to do that at another time. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this episode of Transport Fever European Free Play Edition. We got Dursley connected up with the Willenhall line. And so now we have Workshop, Beckles, Willenhall, and Dursley connected up. And it's just a matter of making the other additional connections. From Dursley, I will probably have a line running Dursley, Doncaster, maybe up to Kings Lynn. Down to Oak Camp? No. I'll probably do... Actually... Bother. I might upgrade this to four tracks. Because I am tempted to do a... An express train from Doncaster. Or not, Dursley. Over to Oak Camp. Possibly Dover Court. Maybe. I'll have to think about that. But we are going to eventually run Salterton up to Dovercourt, Gainsborough, Oakham, Doncaster, Dursley. Yep, that's what I'll do instead. Uh, yep, I'm not going to want to bring anything through here because this is a farm. Yep. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott Frisby Gaming, and as always, have a good day.